Welcome back to the channel. My name's Terry from Universal Tools Terminations. Today we're going to look at our new bus bar machine. It's a multi station bus bar machine which does bending, punching, cutting, and also offsetting. It comes from Poland, manufactured by Erco, a great European quality. We're going to look at the four features. We're going to kick off with uh, the bus bar punching side of things. So, in here is our storage cabinet and we've got our four sizes of bus bar punch and dies got starting at the bottom 6.6 .6 for m6 bolt 8.5 for an m8 11 mil for m10 and 13 mil for an m12 so starting off let's try 11 mil punch and die see how goes fitting into the machine you'll notice it's engraved 11 mil there and also on the back of the punch is 11 mil oh by the way it's a red neoprene stripper and it bulges up as you punch the material so putting in the die first goes in like that that sits in like that so we've got a piece of bus bar here. It's a 100 mil by 10 mil thick. And you would slide it through and then operate down on our control panel, the punching feature. So also you notice that it's got a length stop. So if you want to punch in a certain, in from the edge, say 100 mil, then you would set your punch there at 100 mil and away you go. Bring, bring the bus bar up and punch like that. If you want to punch, say, 20 mil in from each side, you can do that easily. At the front here, you will notice that there's a measurement and we've got a handle here which turns a wheel which lowers it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that down till we get to 20 mil. Once we've got to 20 mil, you'll see the marker there, edge on the 20, then you are ready to punch. Once you're punched, you turn it over, punch the other side, you'd end up with two nice 11 mil holes. Okay, so let's just take the punch and dies out again, and we'll put in the bending. Right, we're gonna have a look at the bending feature now. This is our bending radius. It's got a 10 mil radius. And so what we do is we fit it in this side, like so. This is our bending die. And I'm gonna put that in. And you slide it back until it locates. This is our control cable. So that goes in the back here. Like so you'll notice on the top here is our angle reader and it's engraved right round from 6 mil angle to 90 degree angle and by altering it undoing the knob you can take it to whatever angle you want to bend at so I'm just bending it at 45 say like so okay you'll notice also on here is two on the bending shoe is two pressure plates and that helps stop marking the bus bar when you're bending the bus bar now if another important thing to remember is that we need to bend in an equal distance from the center of the piston so let's say our bus bar that we're bending is 100 mil wide you then will raise or lower the head so in 100 mil we're going to lower it to 50 mil 50 mil there and that ensures that there's an equal amount of distance from the center of the piston from top to bottom once again if you're bending 
a 90 degree in, say from 200 mil in from the edge. You can set it for 200 mil there. Bring your bar up and you'll get that cons consistent bending as you do it. As the, as the bend is being performed, um, it will, when it reaches the desired angle, it will automatically cut the hydraulic pump on the machine. Then we've got the feature of offsetting, and that's where we put a, want to put a very tight bend in the bus bar. These are called offsetting shoes. So you put this one in here, like so, slide it back, this one here, then goes in there like so, and you've got 12 mil, 10 mil, or five mil offsetting steps. And then you put that in there like so. So once again, you put the bar in, set whatever length or distance you want to put your offset, and then operate the machine. Let's have a look at the cutting feature of this bus bar machine. On the side here, we've got a knob, and these are adjust the two side guides. So if we're cutting a piece of bus bar 100 mil, we would want to go 50 mil out from the center. So you put your bus bar in, roll it in, let it go through, all the way through into the cutting section, and then just slightly nip it up on the knob. This here is a hold down knob as well. And that stops when you complete your cut, that stops the bus bar springing back up. When you've got a whole length and it's coming out on these two rollers, you literally would clamp down like that. So that's it folks. We've gone over the four features of our multi-station bus bar machine. Bending, punching, cutting and offsetting. A great machine for lifting productivity in the workshop for good for builders out there that are maybe still operating old manual machines. This is a very good option for you. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.